Chapter 5 Season 4 is a few days away and we already got our first look at the season when Epic dropped the trailer about a week before the season starts. That trailer also gave us our first look at the new Absolute Doom Marvel Battle Pass and honestly it is really good in my opinion. Just so you're aware these are the skins that will be in the pass. Gwenpool, Mysterio, Emma Frost, War Machine, Shuri, Doctor Doom, Peel Vereen, and Captain Jonesy. Now if you want to hear my initial thoughts on this battle pass you can find the link in the description after you watch this video, but this is a good lineup. But there are so many more Marvel characters that could still come to Fortnite, and that's what I want to talk about with you today. What Marvel skins I would love to see in the item shop in Season 4. I'm going to try and make it as realistic as possible, I won't just be listing every Marvel character for the fun of it, I want the characters that come into this game during the season to make sense. So let's get started. But first, be sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and use code ToonSpider in the item shop to support me. Now, the first skins I want to start with is the Fantastic Four. They honestly just make the most sense since Doctor Doom is the main villain this season, or at least that we know of so far. I think the Fantastic Four should be the mini pass for the season, or they could be released as a bundle in the item shop. But ultimately, I think they will appear about halfway through the season to help us defeat Doctor Doom. The next few skins I'm going to mention definitely give the Fortnite vibe. I honestly don't get how they are not in the game yet. And the characters are Winter Soldier, Punisher, and Agent Venom. These three are honestly perfect for Fortnite and they would look so sick in game. I feel like at least one of these characters should have been in this season's battle pass, but I'm just hoping to at least get them in the item shop this season. There are a couple very important and iconic X-Men characters that I think should be showing up this season as well, and they are Nightcrawler, and Beast. They are two X-Men characters that should definitely make their way into the Fortnite item shop. We have so many X-Men characters at this point that I would be shocked if they just left out two of the more well-known X-Men members. And from what I've seen from my comment section, these are two very highly requested characters that people want to see in Fortnite. Next on my item shop list is Quicksilver and Polaris. If you've seen any of my other like Marvel skin videos, you'll know I've been very vocal about these two coming into the game. In my opinion it just makes sense because we've gotten Magneto and we've gotten Scarlet Witch so I think we should get the siblings to Scarlet Witch in game from what it looks like in this trailer this is almost like the end game for Fortnite the way that battle looked so why not bring in two heavy hitters like Quicksilver and Polaris to help us out a couple more X-Men characters that I think should come into the game and they're very underrated is Magic and Kitty Pride. I was kind of shocked but Magic is one that has been mentioned a lot in the comments section as well and I think her soul sword would be such a sick pick and for Kitty Pride, getting Lockheed as a pet back bling would just be so much fun to have in game. So back in Chapter 2, Season 4, Daredevil came into Fortnite through the item shop. So in my opinion, it makes a lot of sense to bring in Elektra during this second Marvel season. She's a well-known female character. She's badass. She was just in Deadpool and Wolverine. We already have Daredevil in the game. It just makes sense in my opinion. Nebula is a character that I'm surprised isn't in game. We have all of the MCU Guardians of the Galaxy members in game we're only missing nebula i'm pretty sure so i think she's got to make it in at some point because we've gotten black widow multiple times i think it's time to bring in yelena especially since she will be in the thunderbolts movie and from what i've seen from the leaked photos from that movie i definitely think we should get her thunderbolts look miss marvel is another character that makes sense she had her own show she was in the marvels movie she's been around in media a lot lately another character that i'm surprised we haven't gotten yet in the item shop or at least in the battle pass or in Fortnite in general is Vision. So I think we could get a comic look for Vision and we could also get his white Vision look and some other characters that I think would be fun to bring in game. They're not necessarily like highest on my list, but they would be awesome to see is Lady Deadpool, Squirrel Girl, and Better Ray Bill. During season four, we'll actually be getting Fort Nightmares as well. And I think during that time period, we could also get some Marvel skins that would fit Fort Nightmares perfectly. I think Agatha Harkness would be a great skin and her show will be out around that time. Werewolf would be a perfect pick, Man-Thing, and Morbius. But it can't be the comic Morbius, it's gotta be the Jared Leto movie Morbius, and he's gotta say it's Morbin time as an emo. Now, majority of the time we get Marvel heroes 
in Fortnite. The villains don't get as much love, so I'm going to list off some villains that I think should come into the game. For starters, I think we should get Galactus. He was the main villain in Chapter 2 Season 4, and from what I've seen, we'll be able to see Galactus again from a distance off the island. Ultron would be a great character to bring in game. Kang the Conqueror, especially since he's been in the movies recently. Abomination, we have Hulk in game, let's get his main villain. Red Skull, especially since we have multiple Captain America skins, and now we have Captain Jones. I think this would be a perfect time to introduce Captain America's main villain. Kraven the Hunter and Electro to bring in a couple spider villains, and bringing in more villains makes sense this season because as we've seen, the raft, which is a prison, so we could say Doom is breaking out these villains, maybe like one week at a time or maybe two a week as they appear in the item shop. Now there's a couple Fortnite festival skins I think we could get, Spider Punk and Dazzler. I know we have the Carol G collab coming for Fortnite festival, but this would just be a fun way to bring in these Marvel skins if we get a festival pack for Spider Punk and Dazzler. Like they could have their own guitar, microphone, drums, so on and so forth. In the new Battle Pass, we've seen that there are a couple remix skins, so that could probably be more of a theme for this Marvel season compared to the previous one. So not only did we get Peelverine and Captain Jones, in the trailer, we saw Meow Schools and it looked like he was combined with Sabretooth. I don't know if he's gonna be called Saber Souls or Meowtooth, but he's most likely the crew skin in my opinion. That's just my guess though, I don't know for sure. We saw Hope had a new suit as well. I know she had cat ears, but I think that's just because she wears cat themed clothes. I don't think she mixed with like black cat or anything like that but she also gave me like agent vibes so maybe she's mixed with a shield agent or black widow but i still find that highly unlikely we know from leaks that we're going to be getting a fish stick and deadpool remix skin we'll also be getting a peely and deadpool remix skin but a couple that i created i think midas and iron man would be a fun remix especially since we already got that i think it's the midas rex skin so getting a different take on that but more of the iron man look even though we haven't gotten kingpin yet i think it'd be fun to see brutus in kingpin suit and knowing fortnite they will probably do another bright bomber remix the only one i could really see them remixing her with would probably be black widow i know there's bright star but we also know fortnite loves to push out the bright bomber skin so every season we get level up packs towards the end of the year so that way people can complete their battle pass or at least gives you a chance to complete your battle pass this season i think it'll be doc ock because we've seen him in leaks before especially when magneto was leaked cyclops was leaked so it just kind of makes sense plus you can get multiple styles for doc ock so you can have his comic look i mean if they wanted to go the movie look they could or they could give us like a superior spider-man style which i would prefer that would be sick and his tentacles can be used as like a back bling and also a pickaxe so i think he would be a level up pack worth buying and i've mentioned this one on previous videos but i gotta create a spider bundle since spider-man is my all-time favorite superhero in this bundle i would love to see ben riley scarlet spider cindy moon silk and spider noir now last time we had a marvel season they only released like six skins in the shop so we probably won't won't get as many as I just listed, but they have ramped up how many collab skins they've done since then, so who knows? We might get a majority of these skins, hopefully. But if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for hearing me yap about Marvel skins again. Let me know what Marvel characters you would love to see in the item shop this season, and be sure to like and subscribe, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Peace!